Hey guys, so as you can see, we are back home. Uh, if you notice our shirts, you may be able to figure out which <laughs> video this is from. Yep. We made it back home in time for me to make us dinner. So believe it or not, I do actually make us dinner all the time, usually after the theme parks, even when it's really late, but usually it's something quick like tacos. Mm -hmm. But um, tonight I'm gonna be doing my take on California Grills ribeye steak and gouda mac and cheese <laughs> so if you are interested in seeing what it takes to make a delicious meal for two at home uh then stick around and stay tuned thanks for watching guys yeah all right guys so here are the ingredients that we are going to be using today for our ribeye at home with the white mac and cheese Also guys, we are going to be using this pasta called Pai Pragate. Once you've added your pasta, then give it a nice stir. Next up, we're gonna start on the base for our cheese sauce. So we're gonna need our butter. Um, I tried to measure that out and make sure it's about like two tablespoons. So I always get the stick of butter because it has the measurements already on the wrapping. So this is what it looks like once I add the milk with the butter and that's about a cup of milk. Also, you want your heat to be kind of low. Um, you don't wanna burn your butter. It's really gonna mess up the roux you're making. Next, it is time for the very fragrant, very delicious Parmesan cheese. We're gonna do half a container. And now we're also going to add our Italian blend cheese. So as you can see, it has melted and it's still melting. And as it continues to melt, um, you can add more cheese in to your preference of how cheesy you like it. And also to thicken it up into a sauce we're going to add a little bit of flour, about two tablespoons, depending on how thick you like it. The more you add, of course, it's going to make it very thick and you have to continuously stir to prevent clumping. So while I was working on the cheese sauce, the pasta actually is now done. So I did put it in the strainer, rinsed it for a little bit, and now we're gonna transfer it into this bowl. Why? Because our cheese sauce is done. So this is the next step, guys. Pasta has been transferred to the bowl. So as you can see, um, I've mixed some of the cheese sauce and then I transferred some of it into these ramekins. So this is kind of to have it portioned out in case you have like a dinner party or something. These are going to go in the oven for 30 minutes. So I did a rough chopped saute until fragrant. So as you can see, we use the olive oil and then we season it with just salt and pepper. That's it. We don't need to do anything else. That's on both sides. And then we're gonna place it into the pan. Also guys, remember once you flip it to continuously baste it. Every so often you wanna make sure you add the juices back into the steak. That way it doesn't dry out, come on.
Also, if you guys happen to have like blue cheese or anything like that, a uh, herb butter that you really want, this is a good time to put a big wallop on there. So I just tossed the broccolini into a saute pan. Uh, I lightly dressed it with olive oil and seasoned it with black pepper. It's not gonna take too long to cook. We want this al dente. Also, I did add a little bit of the al jus. All right, so it looks like our steak is done. Just in case you guys were wondering, this cooks perfectly. And as you guys can see, this is my take on the ribeye for two from California Grill at home. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So it's not Gouda mac and cheese, but it is a white mac and cheese broccolini and this beautiful, delicious ribeye for two. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. Should I do something else like this? I'm kind of thinking about Ohana. So stay tuned. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.